Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. I know it's been a while since we've had a podcast, but I got my homegirl Emily here with me, and we got a lot to get into in the next hour, so I hope y'all have y'all's teacups ready, because this tea is what? Piping hot. I know that's right. (laughs) (laughs) So anyways, Emily, yes, it's been so much going on, especially with the whole Diddy situation. Mm -hmm. So I know you got a chance to watch the, quote unquote, the mini deep dive that I did on his ass when the lawsuit first came out and I read it. I read the whole 35 pages and I read the most, you know, important parts of the lawsuit in that video. And so, I mean, Cassie spilled a lot of information that a lot of people were shocked about. I was shocked about the details of information, but Mm -hmm. I've always known that Diddy wasn't shit. So how did you feel when you first heard everything come out? Um, I was also, mind you, I don't know if I need to say this or not. I, I'm a little bit more nasally than usual. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it, uh-huh. if, for those in the Memphis area, if you know, you know, the weather's crazy. But anyways, I was horrified. Like it was um, the the freak offs. I've never heard of no shit like that in my life. That was crazy. That was horrifying. I it was very difficult to listen to um, and just even try to imagine imagine the torture that he put her through the abuse i mean he literally is like a real life super villain he is trash he is mm-hmm. a horrible fucking human being so i was just shocked i was disgusted and i believed every single word i believed everything that cassie said yeah no i did because again cassie has always been unproblematic and i noticed over Very. the years she just never looked happy in that relationship. The mm-hmm. same way with like Kim Porter. Like you really saw them really smiling and being jovial, you know, unless like the kids were involved as far as Kim Porter. But Cassie just looked like she was just there. She just did not look happy. And the fact that, you know, he had been literally with her and grooming her since she was 19, it says a lot. Cause it's almost like, well, where were Cassie's parents? You know, at this point, but again, this is what I always say that a lot of times when you have powerful men and I don't care what industry it is, men with money and they come after, you know, younger girls or somebody's younger daughter, a lot of times the parents are okay with it because they feel like, well, this man is, you know, he's a celebrity, he's famous. So they're willing to let their 19 year old daughter, 18 year old, 20 year old daughter go off with this grown man. But if this was a grown man who was just a fry cook, I'm sure the dad and mom would have stopped it. Yeah, they would have definitely had some questions given, you know, there was a a substantial, I would say, age gap between them because what she was 19 and he was how he old was, was he? 37 when they first got together. So they're 20 year uh, age gap. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty big age gap, you know, um, especially given that she's 19. You know, had she been mm-hmm. 25 and him be 45, that ain't really that big of a thing. But yeah. with her being 19, that's so young, especially her just entering the industry. Um, I don't think people realize how young she was. When they first got together and then for the the years and years of abuse that he put her through, that can mold and shape you in your reality, especially when drugs and stuff like that's involved. Mm-hmm. It can shape your reality to where that's just what she thought was normal. So it's really scary. And I find it very interesting that around the time that Cassie left him was shortly after the time of Kim Porter's death. So that also makes me wonder, like, what else is really going on behind the scenes? that she knows, I think she knows a lot more. I think that what she just put in um, the the information that we had access to, I I think that's just probably barely scratching the surface. She probably knows so much stuff way beyond we're even like privy to Mm -hmm. really dark, deep, demonic shit past what we already know, because that was some fucked up shit too. Right. And that's the thing. It's just like, You know, at this point in time, you know, I know I and many people have been sounding the alarms about Diddy for years. It's Mm -hmm. just something about him as a person that's just always been, it just, he never sat well with me. And it's like a lot of these kids, they know Diddy, they know Brother Love. Um, We're from the 90s. We know Puffy. (laughs) And Puffy wasn't shit. Making the band. Right. I don't care how many times he changes his name. It's the same song and dance. And the fact that he took so much advantage of people is insane. And you know, to have Cassie come out and really confirm it, 
it says a lot. Now, what was even more shocking is that literally the next day after I do the, you know, the documentary, um, it comes out that Diddy settled. Now, remember at the end of the documentary, um, I had read a letter from Diddy's lawyer and they were saying that, oh, this is a shakedown. She's been trying to get money for months. This is all about money. And in 24 hours, this man settled. I've never seen a settlement go that quick. So now what we're going to do, we're going to watch this news clip um, where they're talking further about the settlement. So I'm going to go ahead and play that really quick. Your music mogul Sean Diddy Combs was accused of sexual assault and years of abuse in a new new lawsuit filed by R&B singer Cassie. Word of a settlement overnight. ABC's Morgan Norwood is here with the update. Good morning, Morgan. Hey, good morning to you, Ariel. Though Cassie and Diddy did not detail the terms of that agreement, the settlement quickly shuts down the potential for a trial and the process of legal discovery. That's when evidence in the case is often made public. I thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. Overnight, hip hop mogul Sean Combs settling a bombshell sexual abuse lawsuit filed by his ex girlfriend, fellow singer Cassie. Cassandra Ventura writing in a statement I have decided to resolve this matter amicably on terms that I have some level of control. I want to thank my family, fans, and lawyers for their unwavering support. Combs, known as Diddy or Puff Daddy, adding in his own statement I wish Cassie and her family all the best. Love. We're going up, we're going live. Can't stop, roll socks, so old job. The settlement just one day after Ventura accused the singer of rape, domestic violence, and sex trafficking, citing controlling behavior that she says lasted over a decade while she was signed to Diddy's record label and the two were in a romantic relationship. <laughs> in the lawsuit filed Thursday, Ventura alleged that after the two met back in 2005, Holmes lured Miss Ventura into an ostentatious, fast-paced, and drug-fueled lifestyle and into a romantic relationship with him, and that he used illegal substances and threats of violence to force Miss Ventura into repeated unwanted sexual encounters with male sex workers. Combs denying the allegations, his attorneys describing them in a statement as riddled with baseless and outrageous lies, aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation. And right after this lawsuit was filed, several artists and entertainers have voiced their support for Cassie Ventura's attorney saying in a statement Friday, I am very proud of Ms. Ventura for having the strength to do so, to go public with her lawsuit. She ought to be commended for doing so. Gio. All right, Morgan. Thank you. All right. So well, you just watched that video. So it's a lot to unpack. But now one person who was not feeling this at all was Aubrey O'Day. Oh, so this is what she wrote here. Um, she says, money and accountability every time. Another chapter of the system is well in place. And then she put a broken heart emoji. And then somebody says to her, this is hella insensitive. The moment she doesn't want to have to relive her trauma or validate your experience, this is your response. Did you not just call her queen in your post yesterday? You can't call yourself a champion for women if it's going to be conditional. So Aubrey replies back to them and she says, this comment is reflecting Puff's move. You notice she calls him Puff, not Diddy, mm -hmm. not Brother Love, okay? <laughs> the shame. Um, exactly, not hers. She told her story and it validated her, not me or mine. The accountability was on him. Stop being so divisive and put your mind in a more positive space. Uh, I'm kind of torn on that a little bit because I will say when I heard that it was because I was like, yes, Cassie, I hope you fry his ass. Like, I really thought that this was about to be like a Harvey Weinstein like situation. Mm -hmm. And then when I saw that it got, you know, it was shut down and I, I noticed Puff's, um, you know, energy is completely different. At first, it's all baseless lies. And then it's like, you know, I wish her nothing but the best. I'm sorry, right. if you put some shit like that out on me and it ain't true, no, fuck you, I ain't wishing you the best. We're taking this shit to trial. So that right, right there speaks very, you know, speaks volumes on on his, he obviously did it. But um, as far as her dropping the lawsuit, I mean, I really, at first- well, No, she like, didn't drop the lawsuit. They settled. Oh, settled. For money. Okay, okay, yeah, for okay, money. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so as far as them settling- um. I, I do. I did have at first I was like, what What the fuck? Why? Why? You know, but I did have to kind of take a step back because I'm sure, you know, he put a couple extra zeros on there. It's a lot easier for me, you know, sitting from my couch to say what she should do at mm -hmm. the end of the day. If, you know, she can settle this, they can settle this outside of court. 
I'm sure she got a substantial amount of money and, you know, her and that that is paying her for her trauma, because at the end of the day, she was suing him for money. That was the purpose. I know she wanted to go public and accountability and all that. But, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot when you go through a lawsuit like that. You know, she's going to have to relive a lot of trauma. It would be really difficult. So I, I can understand why she probably settled outside of court, especially if it was the number was right. Yeah. And then, you know, you never know. She may have got that money, you know, just to like simply get up out of Dodge. Right. You know, now they have enough money where her and her fine husband, Alex, fine, fine ass can, husband, Ooh, you know what I'm so saying, fine. can get up out of Dodge away from him. And I also think, too, that she did it in a way where, you know, it's almost like when somebody's like being hunted down or they're dealing with domestic violence and they go on to social media and say, if anything ever happens to me, such and such did it. Right. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting that granted the money, you know, will help. Right. But I think a lot of it is maybe she's scared for her life potentially because he already allegedly, you know, off him porters, what people are saying or had something mm-hmm. to do with her death. And so it's like, if I sue him and I put everything out there, in the event, because because remember, wasn't like a year ago that Alex Fine was online calling him gay and going at Diddy? Yeah, he told him come up out the closet because he made that song about Cassie. Yeah, I think that they had some receipts and they had that was maybe kind of like her safety net. Like, OK, if he ever tries to come after me, this information will be released. But now that she filed the, the lawsuit, that was another kind of like safety net for her, because I did find it interesting that. She was able and we don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but her and her husband were able to, you know, get married and have kids and somewhat, you know, as far as we know, live in peace without anything terrible happening. So, yeah, I think they definitely had had some receipts and stuff like that, because at first I will say I was wondering, I'm like, who the hell did Diddy piss off? He done he done pulled a um, what's his name from uh uh, what was that movie? King Kong ain't got nothing on Alonzo. Oh, Denzel. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he done pulled a training day and he done oh. pissed off the wrong person and they are coming for his, you know, coming for him. And so I thought maybe someone, you know, finally gave Cassie the courage, like, hey, we'll we'll back you, whatever, you know. And they might bit. have, because remember, maybe he's he's beefing with Diageo, the that the drink company, the tequila, the tequila company of his. Oh, that yeah. is the rock. Remember, he acted like he was, you know, oh, he owns the rock. And we find out he's just a glorified influencer. He didn't mm. own shit. And then he started accusing them of racism. Remember, I've been covering all this now. That's I'm right. Done. That's right. He's keeping my foot on his damn neck because all he does That's is right. lie. Just like that he whole does. Joker situation. He's like, oh, uh, Warner Brothers is saying that I can't be the Joker and they're harassing me. And this Not is- in a whole fucking commercial. No, yeah, absolutely. you did a commercial. <laughs> Right. Like you usually you literally use their image and shot a whole tequila commercial. That is copyright infringement. I can't take the bad boy logo now and go through a bad boy party with his logo like he's an idiot. And so I feel like he has made a lot of enemies in high places. Okay, Mm -hmm. especially with this tequila brand and him trying to scream racism and all this stuff. And, um, you know, who knows? Maybe they got behind Cassie and was like, you know, let's take this man down. He's doing too much. You know, that's just a little, you know, conspiracy. Not saying that that's what happened. But I think for me, I feel like more or less what's going on is the fact that Cassie basically is saying, hey, if something happens to me, this fool did it. Yeah. And she also put I, I can definitely see that. And she also put a lot of information out. So whether they go through the discovery process or not, I mean, that that's a that's a stain on him. And everybody believes it. I think I have not heard one person be like, I don't know. Most people are like, I believe every word. So she did put the information out and um, I could definitely see him pissing the wrong people off. And even if, like I said, they didn't go through discovery and, and the entire case, like through the, the court systems uh, or further it. Mm-hmm. Um. She got I, I, she got a good payday. So that's another way to kind of slowly tear somebody down. She mm. drained his pocketbook. I believe he paid out a lot more because at first they said that he tried to offer her eight figures and she didn't take it. Mm. So he had to have offered her nine figures for I'm them hearing to it's sell. nine figures. Yeah, I'm definitely I believe it's it. nine. Yeah. yeah, I believe it. I bet you she did. And, and she deserves every bit of it. Yeah. Fuck him. Well, now, you know, he just did a photo op, child. It just hit the Internet 30 minutes Girl. ago. So we're going to look Everything at Everything about him is so fucking fake. Yeah. And my comment is so funny. He has like over 800 likes on the shade. Oh, no. 
you know, my shady ass seen that picture and has something to say, child. Oh, we yeah, I need to see this. It. So this is his picture. This is the first picture of Diddy since the lawsuit. Oh, oh, my God. He's trying to look like a little like a child. He had his stomach is hurting. He has his hands on his face crying. Boy, oh, boy. fuck him. And look at, at my both of his eyes aren't black. What'd you say, girl? I said, yawn. This is nothing but a photo <laughs> op. <laughs> <laughs> it is, <laughs> and the people under my comments are cracking up, laughing. Like, yep. this is a, like, like. First of all, you're Diddy. Like, and he looks like he's like at home, or maybe you know by his pool. Who is able to sneak and take a picture of you in that moment? Like, the like, white lady next to him, probably a maid or something. You know, he does yeah. have money, so yeah. you know, probably a maid. You go ahead, give me a white maid. You know, but the whole point is, it's like. No one is going to be around you to take like a sneak picture of you. This is a photo op. So he he's telling somebody, take this picture and let's post it on social media for sympathy points. So we don't care. I'm glad a, she's draining you. Absolutely. Fuck him. Is this an odd observation? Why? Why is the cup two different colors? Or is that just me? <laughs> it might be the sun. Okay, it is one... two different colors, but it might be the <laughs> angle. So yeah. the cup is lighter in one picture. <laughs> <laughs> photo op yeah absolutely I mean, the that, fact that, that he's was a sitting there op. holding his stomach like he's rocking back and forth yeah, he like has that. his socks uh tucked into his pants and that's oh, funny that's how I, yeah that's how I wear my um uh, when I wear leggings I would like tuck my socks over my leggings don't judge oh, me well it's not you know what it's cold where you live so I get it <laughs> me and P Diddy got the same style okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah now I don't feel bad because you know first of all Cassie's not the only person who's ever said that she's been abused several people have been abused by him so mm -hmm. i you know okay you get called out on the fucked up shit that you've done you want to sit there and hold your stomach and we'll just pretend it's real it's not but we'll just you know <laughs> for fairy tale sake pretend that this is real and he's going through it he should imagine how cassie felt when she was stuck in a hotel for you know weeks on end after he beat the hell out of her or the mm -hmm. uh, kim porter after he broke her nose all the people allegedly. Who's probably, yeah, 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 allegedly. All the people who has probably said, or not probably, I mean, that he's screwed out of money that sat at home and mm -hmm. cried because they couldn't pay their bills. Fuck him. Yeah, I mean, look how for so long I've been telling people that this man back in the day put Justin Combs, his older son, um, his mama, Janice Combs, he put them down as writers and producers on all of these major songs. So they mm -hmm. get writing credit. They get royalty. They get credit that Mace does not even receive. They get mm -hmm. royalties that Danny DeCane don't get, that 112 don't get. You know, so it's like he made sure his family was set up and they were good and they got generational wealth. But what about the artists who put their blood, sweat and tears to get to, to get you and your family to where they're at today? They have nothing to show for it. I remember yeah. when I met um when I met uh Kim from from Total, and I was just so or Kima and Kima, I, and I was just so shocked because I was just like, I didn't even realize it was her, you know. And Total was one of my favorite girl groups before Destiny's mm -hmm. Child, yeah. and <laughs> just to see like where they're at, there's like nothing. Like there's there's nothing. You you have a whole generation of kids who don't even know who Total is. All because right. this man has like literally ruined people's lives. Even those boys, I kept calling them B12, but their name was B5. B12 uh -huh. was a vitamin. So oh. <laughs> but the, yeah, those little boys, they're called B5 and they've been coming out speaking too. And they were saying that they got no money. He he put them in horrible contracts when they were 14, 15 and 16. You know, so this man has done a lot to a lot of people. And it's hard for me to feel bad for him. Especially I don't feel bad when, for him at all. Yeah, when you're rich, like like he has at one point has touched a billion dollars. There's oh, no yeah. reason why he couldn't have shared that wealth. There's no reason why he couldn't have looked out for other people. You can't take all that to the grave with you, period. No, sure can't. And you know? his, his kids, kids, kids are going to be more than fine. You know, this is just a, a perfect example of greed. And, you know, the devil always comes to collect. So, Facts. you know, you want to fuck around, do demonic shit. I don't feel bad for you. And I honestly don't think that he feels bad. I mean, I can't say how someone's feeling, but I don't think that he feels bad for what he did. I think he just feels bad that people are clowning him. And, you know, a lot of people are finding out about um, as far as the 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 rape allegations and the abuse allegations and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that he probably is not happy about that. But, you know, the whole Diddy being bisexual thing, that's been something that's always been like a rumor 
I know that's got him just pissed. I bet you he's mad. He's upset about that. But I don't think mm -hmm. for once he's like actually upset for the the hurt and the trauma and the PTSD and the years and years in therapy that his victims are going to have to go through from surviving his crazy ass. Yeah. Cause you can tell something happened with Aubrey O'Day cause she's really jaded and upset and, yeah. and I'm sure she's ready to eventually tell her story. And one thing about this lawsuit with Cassie, you know, with him settling with Cassie, it's going to open the floodgates because mm -hmm. if you're willing to pay Cassie nine million, you know, a nine figure settlement and you've abused me and you've done some stuff to me. Oh, I'm coming out the woodwork. Okay. Oh yeah. I, and there's I already, you. yeah, there's already a cook of his that has sued him for sexual harassment and stuff. And mm -hmm. I guess maybe because she wasn't famous, her case is is just literally creeping through the courts at this point. Yeah. But I think now with Cassie low key winning, you know, via settlement, yeah. it might help that other lady's case like fly because now she's gonna say, look, this is proof that everything I was saying that Diddy did to me, and I was just a housekeeper slash cook. Um, Cassie, Cass, case, Cassie's basically verifying everything I went through, you know, so it might even help her lawsuit and I'm sure it's going to be more people, you know, coming up out the woodwork now. Um, so another person I want to touch on before we get off this topic is Slim Thug. So Slim Thug oh. decided to chime in on this situation and people are of course dragging him. So let's go ahead and play. He's had several statements today. We're going to play the first one here. Coming back and getting puffed. I don't believe in it, man. What well, you go down, speak on that right then, or it's out of it. It should be null and void. You shouldn't even have no type of nothing. You should be, you shouldn't be able to do shit unless you must let the people know what happened immediately. It should be a time limit on it. What happened was you was trying, you got around them off and stand up on love. Then what happened? I'm gonna tell you what always happened, right? You was with a billionaire with all this bread all this time, and then you went followed your heart to with a trainer. That motherfucker apartment got smiled in the that lifestyle fell off. Now it's struggle time, the love wearing off, and now you're trying to come up with ways to figure out how to get paid. That coming back and getting Bill Cosby, coming back and getting puffed. I don't believe in it, man. What? All right, sir. Please. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. First of all, there's it's called a statue of limitations. Usually that's what they go by. And wasn't it about to expire? Yes, it was. OK, I think that was what he was trying to say. Um, But he didn't, you know, don't get me wrong. My range ain't that great either, but he's an idiot. Right. So now this is his update to this initial comment. See, I'm going to read what you had to say. I really don't want to talk to you. You ain't got no face. Do you know how much strength it takes to survive, live through abuse? You know how powerful it is, money, power changes. I don't know. I don't know none of that. I don't know. I've never been a victim of abuse. But I do know that it is scammers out here that just try to grab money from people. That's what I'm speaking of. Okay? I, all the people, maybe she did. I have, I have sympathy. Now, you should call the police and shouldn't wait. If you know you shouldn't be just sitting around, you shouldn't be trying to sue them up. You should just get the abuser locked up so it don't happen to nobody else. All the people who really was abused and how your life was as a victim was hard. I have I have sympathy. Now you should call the police and shouldn't wait. If you know you shouldn't be just sitting around, you shouldn't be trying to sue them up. You should just get the abuser locked up so it don't happen to nobody else. All the people who really. All right. So that He's is an idiot. Okay. Yeah. He's well, again, this idiot. is the same man who had a baby with his cousin. So girl, what? That, yeah. The fact that he that he smashed his cousin and had a baby with her tells me everything I need to know. So yeah, I, wait, I don't expect say, too was much it like his first stuff. cousin, second cousin? Don't give me the lie. I, I, I guess it don't matter. Now. Shit. Uh huh. <laughs> but, you know, they, in small towns. Let me stop. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> in small southern towns. <laughs> yeah. How, wait, where was it? Anyway. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.